was like, guys, uh, this may previewing the Jacksonville Jaguars 2013 draft, recapping their offseason, and previewing their upcoming season. So let's get started. Um, round one, I have the Jacksonville Jaguars taking Bartavius Nigo, defensive end out of LSU. They have struggled to get to quarterback in recent years. Um, Jacksonville has ranked 20th or worse in sacks each season since 2008, which includes a league low 20 sacks last season. Uh, I think their top priority is finding a pass rusher because that's probably one of their biggest needs. Especially if they get Matt Flynn, they really won't need a quarterback. So, um, Barcavis Mingo, he ran a 6.84 six in three cone drill, had a broad jump of 10 8, had the second best results among the defensive linemen in the four yard dash, and a 4 5 8 in a vertical of 37 inches. He has a pro day, which is today. Yes, his pro day is today. So, if they could find pass rusher. Uh, second pick, I have them taking Jonathan Banks, cornerback from Mississippi State. Uh, they currently just have two cor two cornerbacks under contract. Four-year veteran Derek Cox signed with the Chargers, and Rasheed Mathis will not re-sign. Uh, Banks is a physical corner. He's at 6'2". He jammed receivers off snap. He was underutilized in college and has the potential to be a very good pass, pr a press man coverage corner. Uh, he had a poor showing at combine. He ran a 4.61, 40, which dropped him to the second round. But he helped his stock by rebounding with a good pro day. He improved his 40-yard time, so that's where I have him taking the second pick. Round three, I've been taking a quarterback, Matt Scott, quarterback from Arizona. Uh, this is a weak free agent quarterback class. There's really not much you can really do. Uh, Scott has one of the fastest rising players in the draft process as he moved to a late round pick to a possible third rounder. Um, he threw his three cone drill was a 6.69 and his 20 yard shuttle was a 3.99. He continued to wild scouts as Arizona Pro Day. The Jaguars won about 25 teams to to go to that event. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So that's where that's who I've been picking. I've been going center, Brian Schwinski. Schwinski, center from Cal. Uh, they they do need to prove their O line to give, you know, Marisha and Drew, whoever the quarterback, their their receivers, time to actually get some offense going. Uh, they did lose their center, Brad Meister, or I think they resigned. I'm not sure. I'm not too positive, but. Uh, Sw Swinski is a versatile lineman who started both guard and center in college. He was a top 10 among offensive linemen in the 4 yard dash, ran a 4 9 9, had a brown jump of, of 9 flat. He also posted second best 3 cone drill with 7.31. And he's, he's a great fit in Jacksonville's new zone blocking scheme. Uh, round 5, I have him taking Sanders Cummings, cornerback from, from Georgia. Like I said, with their second round pick, they do need help in the secondary. And uh, Cummings is, is at his best when he can press receivers. He's six foot two sixteen. He was also good enough for the Arizona draft. Diamondbacks to draft him in the 2008 MLB draft. Um, he could be converted to safety. One of his main criticisms was preserve lack of speed, but he ran a 4-4-1, 40-yard dash time, so that pretty much required all of that. And he has ability to play special teams. Round six, have them taking Omariji Yuzi. <laughs> it's a cool name. Uh, guard from Georgia Tech. Uh, they they need help on the offensive line. So, yeah, uh, they can dress second time by drafting him. He's six foot three, three hundred two pounds. He the one knock on him will be he played in the triple option, which will not help him, but. Uh, he's consistent with the run and pass and can engage multiple different defenders at, at times. He is recovering from an injury, but he'll be a good pick for teams who are desperate for, for offensive linemen like the Jaguars. Their last pick, have them going receiver, TJ Moe, receiver from Missouri. 
mean, though they do have two slot receivers, Cecil Shorts third and Justin Blackman, they do need a slot receiver. Um, they lost Lauren Robinson. They have Jordan Shipley. Up. Well, no, they do not have have Jordan George Jordan Shipley. And Mo is built to play slot receiver. Even though his forty yard dash time was a four seven four, his three cone drill is six point five four. Twenty yard shuttle is three point nine six, and sixty yard shuttle is ten point eight seven. He can quickly get in and out of the break, which makes him a threat in underneath routes. So that's my pick for. That's my predictions for the Jaguars in the draft. Um, my next video will do the offseason and all, all that. But that's my predictions right now. So let me know what y'all think.